Hello. Hello. So we decided um, to go and check out Coronado Springs. So we're coming here in August 2019. And we were here in August 2018. Uh, and obviously, I'm sure you know, there's loads of construction work going off. They're building a 15-story tower, mm -hmm. renovating all the rooms, mm -hmm. and building a restaurant in the middle of the lake. Mm -hmm. So we thought while we're here, we finished uh, at the parks for today, would go and check it out and see how they're getting on because to be honest we can't wait to stay there again yeah it's pretty good so here we are we think that the car park has been renovated because this was behind a hoarding the last time we were yeah, here we didn't come in this way we came in around that way and drove around the front of the yeah. uh, building so this is the new entrance that building it looks amazing we down here i mean that entrance to that building is going to be incredible oh look at the uh, yeah look at the massive the framework Wow, this is kind of exciting. Wow, so that's the uh, new tower at Coronado as of the 1st of January 2019. That will be the entrance, so you'll be coming in here to check in. Because currently the check-in is this building over here. That's an amazing tower. It's a real statement piece of uh, architecture. You can't miss it. It could be the new Swan and Dolphin. Oh, so I'm driving a hairdryer. So you used to be able to drive in here, but now there's scrim on the other side. My understanding is that the uh, shop has been redone and has, as has the pepper market or the quick service that they had. Oh look. Uh, concerns has been whether it would fit in with the older buildings, but it's a bit hard to tell at the moment. But it certainly looks amazing. This used to be the way you'd walk in from there and now it's all closed off. But the Christmas decorations, it's looking really pretty. How nice is that? Oh, what a lovely tree. So this registration will not be here when the new tower opens. I have no idea what they're going to be doing with it. We'll check back in the summer and find out. Oh, the sun is shining on us. Uh, opposite registration is Panchitos, which was also under construction or reconstruction, remodeling. Panchitos is now looking well swish. Oh, I do like what you've done with the place. There's hoarding around most of the inside when we came last time. There also seems to be a lot less stuff. But your regular apparel. We've got some Mexican style bags, habanero sauces, glass works, and glassware rather. This is a nice display. One of the cabaneros. So over on this wall, you've got a new display. I like it. I like what they've done with the display. That's where all your candies. And then on the very back wall, you have a fridge section. Next to the fridge, you've got the fuel rod station that David's changing our fuel rod. So we've got a newly charged one. Wines, beers, pop. And you've got your regular bag snacks. On that far wall there, you've got pins. I'll show you those pins. Nothing significantly different here than other places we've been on this trip. So David's getting some Star Wars pins, which he's not seen. So he's getting these. He's getting the uh, Star Wars stockings, Christmassy ones, and also Stormtrooper Santa. Uh, I love these, you know, where you can collect the coins. Oh yeah. It's also an else of one of these. I think it was Wandering Apple. It's definitely an improvement here at Panchitos. There's less stuff and the stuff that they got is laid out in a much nicer fashion. It's the Mexican theme of uh, Coronado Springs. They also have a very large range of autograph books here in uh, Panchitos. Oh, look at that one. Toy Story one, that's quite cool. It's quite sweet. Official ones. And David's also looking at... This lovely travel journal. Travel journal where you can... Uh, it's really cute. It's the sort of thing I would have filled in as a kid. Putting your name and your details and comments about stuff and there's you know you can put your favorite park attractions and your fireworks yes it's a real it's a it's a great diary for anyone on a little trip with their kids or adults yes no end of mugs oh the mini mouse mug so i got the donald one of those in disney springs and there's also the mickey one because i want to put some plants in it i think that'll be a great as a little plant pot um, I'd like all three, however, sadly on this trip, I don't have the weight allowance in my luggage, so I cannot take it. More mugs and some baking stuff. What's that one down there? Oh, that's also a lovely mug. Happily ever after. 
Once Upon a Time. It's 19.99 that one. Coconut patties. Now, when we came last time, we ended up using up our dining, excess dining credits on a lot of goofy candy. And I think the one we liked the most was the strawberry truffle, but we only got one of those and regretted not getting more. That's the one we really liked, but we only got one of, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. We didn't get enough of them. Age Although, age. doesn't matter. We'll get some next year when we use up our credits again. <laughs> Coconut patties. Right, let's see what the old pepper market looks like. I love the fact that the cast member that served David, with his, because David bought some pins, the cast member that served David sounded like Beverly Leslie from Will and Grace. <laughs> this does look slightly different. When we came, we didn't have a good experience in the quick service. I don't think it's called the Pepin Market anymore. Oh no, it's called the Mercado de Coronado. Or rather, it's called El Mercado de Coronado. Fancy. It looks exactly the same. It's not full of cheerleaders. It isn't full of cheerleaders. Last time we came, it was full of cheerleaders. Oh, and all they. Of the stalls are open. All of the stalls are open. Uh, not full feeding as dessert. They're not full feeding as dessert to use up our dining credits. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's still got some peppers. There's some peppers. I'm a pepper. We're all peppers in our own way. These big old industrial fridges make it look clean and fresh. Oh, what's that? Oh, salad in a box. Yeah, I don't think they had this range when we came in the summer. And the, the quick service has definitely been remodeled. Nice. Remodeled quick service. Delicious. Uh, yeah. El Mercado de Coronado, open from 7 to 11, and lunch is 11.30 till 11 p.m. Should go outside. We should go outside. Oh, out we go. Oh. What I do notice, and I know it's, it might just because it's New Year's Day, there isn't the incessant banging, banging, banging that you would get. Admittedly, you wouldn't be able to hear it from inside the room. We were staying in Casitas 5, which is that block over there, on the other side of the lake to the tower. Oh, is it lovely and peaceful? Isn't it? Really quiet. Apart from the Christmas music. Right, there on the tower at the very top is going to be a restaurant which you'll be able to see, I believe, all parks. And uh, that should be a great dining experience for fireworks. So when we come in August 2019, we plan to have dinner there and they've already started taking reservations. Yes, I'm curious to know what they're going to turn the main reception area into once that baby opens up in the summer. Look at this lake. When it's not being blown by the wind and not being attacked by the rain, it's like a mirror. And there's the new lake in the middle. The lake, there's a new restaurant and bar in the middle of the lake. Very excited to check that out. How cool is this? I just noticed there's a couple of turtles on that boundary thing. There's some concept art for the restaurant come bar in the middle of the lake. Wonderful. And here, the restaurant at the top of the tower, right up there is supposed to look like and that's what that tower is gonna look like isn't that great wonderful wonderful and here's what the tower's looking like close up so this is the uh back side of the entrance so you'll come in on the other side if you're staying in those rooms You've got a treat on your hand. It's making me excited for our next trip. Yeah, I'm very excited to see what this place looks like when it's all done and completed. There's not a lot left to do from no. most of it. Just need to do the outside. I mean, I'm assuming they've got lots to do inside, but the main construction's done. It's probably less noisy than it has been for the last 18 months here. The lake makes it, the new construction on the lake makes it feel a bit more um, cozy or intimate rather than it being because this was a vast open space. Before. Yeah, it felt quite spread out. And now you've got the the pathway linking both sides of the lake. It's probably more accessible. Yeah, definitely. On many fronts. 
So I hope that's been useful of sorts. Um, you'll see what it looks like in August when we come back then. Uh, it's New Year's Day, so uh, there's no housekeeping today. Who knew? We didn't. So I've just been down to reception to ask for some fresh towels and some more cups because I want a cup of tea. So uh, I'm going to have a cup of tea, regroup, then we need to think about shoving things in suitcases to pack because we leave tomorrow afternoon. Uh, once we've shown, thrown things in cases, we're going to weigh the cases to see how heavy they are. Uh, and hopefully they're okay. Um, and once we've done that task, we will reward ourselves with a bit of dinner. As yet, we haven't yet decided where that is going to be. Okay, it's tea and packing time. Mm, going home. So even though it doesn't actually say it, we're actually at Applebee's. But that's where we're going for dinner tonight. <laughs> Let's start on a positive. So we come to Applebee's for dinner. We, the bonus wings here are to die for. Honey barbecue boneless chicken wings. That's chicken wings, no bone. It's all the fun of a wing without the faff of the bone. Yeah, so we've got honey barbecue chicken wings for a start. I'm having chicken Caesar salad because I really want some lettuce. I'm having ribs. Dave's having ribs. I ordered, I made him order a whole rack because if whatever he doesn't eat, I can have and still will virtuous that I had a chicken Caesar salad. Started the drinks with an old fashioned and moved on to two jets, which is basically two types of Jack Daniels, sweet and sour, and. Ooh. Oh, that sounds nice. Um, it's this place is a bit mess. Yeah, it's New Year's Day. I think they're just a little bit busy. Uh, we got here and they said about half hour wait. Uh, so we sat at the bar and then they started serving and seating other people. So I went back to see the uh, lady on reception and they'd scrubbed through her name. She, she said she'd come to look for us at the bar, but she couldn't find us. But there was it's only. A small bar. It's a very small bar, I'll show you it. And there's only two of us sat at the bar. So that's the bar area. Ooh, just over there. It's a nice bar in the middle. And there, there was nobody else there apart from us. So I think she told a porky pie. But we're settled now. We've got food ordered. It's our last night. This time tomorrow, we'll be getting on a plane. Mm. So we're making the most of our last evening. So David's taking a photo of his drink that's arrived. Ooh, well, they've dropped the phone in it. <laughs> <laughs> so David ordered a pair of jacks, and it looks like this. That's my hand for scale. That's a beast. Wake me up when we're done. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to wake you up when you when you've been done with that one. Yeah, I feel like you need to uh, baptize a baby. It's a huge one. What's it taste like? I bet it's amazing. Is that? I'm um, no. I don't even want to sniff it. So there's an iPhone. <laughs> that's a that's a big iPhone. It's really nice. It's not harsh. Anymore. Lovely. So the bonus chicken has arrived. I must admit that that's not the best advert for bonus chicken. Uh, it normally comes with celery, blue cheese, and ranch dressing. We don't like blue cheese. Well, David can't eat cheese. I'm not a fan of blue cheese, so we said no. But we did want the ranch. However, they've run out of ranch dressing because it's New Year's and they ran out of food last night, apparently, and they had to borrow from other restaurants. And um, on a plate, I must admit, on camera, that looks disgusting. <laughs> it really doesn't look appetizing at all. It's so good there. It's bonus chicken in honey barbecue. It's so good, it's making the children cry. David likes it. We finished the bonus chicken. Mm -hmm. So my chicken Caesar salad has arrived. That's a very decent portion. I feel like we were giants, like, dinner. <laughs> David's got giants dinner, he thinks. <laughs> so, so I've got a massive You do, you have a big old fish bowl of Jack Daniels, and you've got some broccoli fries, really nice, and half a cow. It just falls off the bone. Wishing for this all day. Oh, the ribs going. The ribs are amazing. And so um, we're almost halfway through our dinner. Davis is uh, looking quite demolished. Big pile of bones on that side. A little bit of meat left that side. I'm halfway through my chicken Caesar. So David's finishing my dinner. He's finishing a crouton. 
he's also very kindly laid all the bones out like a paleontologist. <laughs> you ate some of those? You ate some of the meat? No, I didn't. Okay, I had a tiny bit. But my salad, I've finished. Except David's going for croutons. He's a crouton thief. A bit dirty. He doesn't, by dirty he means it's got Got sauce on. Seeds of sauce. Where are we? Ooh, just, we've just left Applebee's and we've gone across the road and we're driving. We're not driving. We're driving Miss Daisy. We've just, <laughs> we've just left Applebee's. We've gone across the road and we're going into Target. Any excuse to come to Target? As long as we don't get run over. This is what we're excited by in Target. And after buying that amazing artwork in Disney Springs, we now need something to hang it with. These are picture hanging strips. They're big ones. We've got medium and small ones. That's for all kinds of, that's a lot for tea towels. That's not what we want. Uh, that's for a coat. That's for keys. That's for purses. Keys, keys, and bags. That's even for a Christmas wreath. <laughs> there he is, look at it. This one comes with me, Oh, what's that one above it? Oh, it's a shelf. Flipping heck. What's the picture shelf? We can't get that in a suitcase. You've done some packing earlier. There's no way there's that any room for that left. That's amazing. That may be a summer 2019 that's purchase. A, that's amazing. Ooh, look at that. Display ledges. That is everything. Well, well, that's pretty damn amazing, isn't it? I love those. How much is that? 19.99. What's that one? That's a decorative knob. Who are you calling a knob? A um, decorative <laughs> knob. Look. Well, that's a big round one, isn't it? What's that? That's another. Oh gosh. Who knew there was such a range of. What are they? They got little pegs. Oh wow. Was well, there Things more of that? You have to put nails on. Oh, I don't want that nail. I don't want nailing. Nail action is not what you want. No, that. We did, yeah, that's that's too boisey. We just want to glue on something. Yeah. yeah. It's a whole new world in that one as well. Oh, damage free hanging for. Hangs up to 19 items. Oh, that's the bottle. Like right, sprays, spray guns. Well, you can hang your spray gun up. I did say they had a lot of choice. There is a lot of choice. What's this one? Universal picture hangers. Oh, is that what we want? You get your metal thing. Oh yeah, it's all those different types. Huh? We don't really know what we're looking for, but there's too much choice. There is such a thing as too much choice. That one holds a step ladder. <laughs> Look, that holds a step ladder. Cheapers. So what are we buying? We're buying universal picture hangers. You get all those little bits in it and the strips up to five pounds. I feel like that was a successful picture. I feel like that was a successful picture. Oh my god. Shop. Oh my god, there's more. Flipping heck. Fancy doorknobs. I don't fancy doorknobs. So it's Target on New Year's Day. <laughs> what did you do on New Year's Day night? We went to Target. Sunita's back. <laughs> Half a Sunita. <laughs> oh, I snorted. We were here, what, three days ago and they had the Christmas sweets. Now, we're getting ready for Valentine's Day. On New Year's Day. Valentine's magnets. What the heck is that? Valentine's sticker boxes. Oh, of course. Boom chicka pop. <laughs> wow. Line them up. Is this <laughs> yeah, but nothing says love like post a load of letters in my shoebox. Oh, <laughs> nothing says Valentine's Day like a box of beef jerky. Is that what it is? Original beef jerky. Please focus. There we go. Jack Link's original beef jerky. I love you. <laughs> Mmm, beef, water, sugar, brown sugar. I love you. M&M, &M, Cupid. Oh, it's a bit like... Uh, Valentine's Hearts. Love Hearts in the UK. One well, at the bottom is Triple Choc. Triple Choc? Why is that so low? Stop fatties getting it. Oh, look, Triple Choc. A lot of M&M fun. Oh, Twix Minis. That's cute. I like that. They're all, all uh, you don't get heart boxes of chocolates in the UK. You want Reese's hearts? In a football. Please. Why? It's manly, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. There's something manly about a heart shaped box full of candy. Basically, if you can make it pink or purple, stick it in a bag, 
Oh no. Oh, oh no, David, David, David's about. Oh, it's Cheese Dream, Cheese Dream, walk away. Oh look, it's a cherry gummy remote. There's a blue raspberry remote as well. Hey, hot stuff. Cayenne pepper sauce. That's, nothing says love like a bit of cayenne pepper play. Ooh, lava cake. What I quite like is then the next time, dog There's food. <laughs> <laughs> woof woof, dog food next to the Valentine's aisle. Epcot. 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 Can't find you. Found you. Hello, Spaceship Earth. Goodbye, Spaceship Earth. Who doesn't like a Christmas bush? Glitter. Glitter alert. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> oh, she loves you all. We love you too. Cheers, Ralph. Miami Airport, you suck. You're awful.